What up, y'all? It's your boy Euphoria. Thank you once again for entering Euphoria. As I always say, it's not just a name. It's a whole energy. It's a whole vibe. Trust me, you stick around. You start to see that yourself. Today's Let's Talk About series. I, I, I gotta, man, I gotta talk about really quick my man Lil TJ. If you, and I'm not just riding, you know, the wave of what's going on. If you listen, if you follow my content, you've heard me mention him in at least several of my videos saying that, like, out of all of the current uh, new generation of rappers, he's actually quite possibly my favorite or one of my favorites. Um, so I mention him quite often, man. The guy makes incredible music. Um, you know, news just broke that, you know what I'm saying, the dude's been shot, you know, quite a number of times, um, and he's undergoing emergency surgery. So I just kind of want to talk about that for a second, you know, and, and just say, man, you know, honestly, man, I just kind of want to put some good vibes out there. You know, that's what I do, you know, just, just to kind of pay my respects for how much I appreciate, you know, him and his work and just kind of say, Hey man. I really hope you pull through. And, you know, I also kind of want to further elaborate to say, you know, just kind of talking about the life of being a rapper and the street life and, you know, all of that, man. Jim Jones really got filleted um, when he said that, you know, rap is like the most dangerous job in the world or something like that. And as these stories start to come out more and more, we we really kind of start to see that the the truth of that the reality of that and to be honest with you i i actually agree you know what i'm saying it's 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 dangerous in so many ways because um a lot of these rappers come from the streets and come from the street life and you know man truth be told man the 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 the, the street life you know, I'm not one to knock or criticize anyone's choice of lifestyle or anyone's choice of living, but it, it, it has a record with significant consistency of just not leading to one of the best outcomes. If you think about some of the, 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 the most successful and even smartest rappers, um, or people in music that started in the streets, they get out that shit. Look at Jay-Z. You don't see Jay-Z all up in the fucking streets and all and trying to be all up in the streets. Freaking, what's another one? Diddy. You don't see Diddy all up in the streets trying to be up in the streets. Dr. Dre. You don't see Dr. Dre all up in the streets and trying to be up in the streets. And clearly, all of these cats I just mentioned, you know, started um from the streets. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just, man. You know, just from my personal um, understanding and you know, even experience, is it it it, it never it never really leads to a, a a significantly great, you know what I'm saying, outcome. And you know, I think that's something that people really need to to consider, man, because there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing more precious than than life itself. I know that sounds cliche, but it really is true. There's nothing more precious than life itself. And if you woke up, that's another opportunity for you to thrive, for you to flourish. If you don't wake up, then obviously that's the end of your time. So, you know, man, you 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 do what you want with the information and the history, you know, and things like that, you know, but you know, just personally, I, I don't really ever see anything too good, you know, coming out of the street life or resulting uh, from from the street life. I mean, you know, personally, even me, you know, I have a musical talent that inevitably will flourish uh, one day. And I, I got no freaking problem being a, a commercial um, musical artist or a rapper because that's really what I like to do. I got no fucking problem with that. I got no problem being the next B.O.B. I, I got no problem with that. In fact, I'm, in fact, I'm gonna ride that bitch. So, man, anyway, I don't want to talk too much. Just kind of want to send them good vibes. Just kind of have a little discussion about it, you know, and say, man, y'all... You know, you choose what you want to do, but personally, you know, I'm, 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 mm -mm. that, that, that life ain't for me. I'm not trying to be the hardest or prove that I'm the hardest, you know, person on the planet or anything like that. Uh, 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 uh. I, I'd rather live the next day and I'd rather continue to flourish, you know what I'm saying? In, 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 in my life, you know, and this is kind of why scripture and I'm not religious at all. Trust me. 
at all. But this is why scriptures say turn the other cheek because it was written with an understanding of how society is and how society functions. And you know what I'm saying? If you let your ego get caught up in something, somebody does something to you. Now you have to do something back. Now they have to do something back. Now you have to do something. That shit just keeps escalating, escalating until it's a point of no return. That's the, pretty much the, 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 the essence of all conflict. So that's why scripture, you know what I'm saying, kind of says, or any wise words, it don't have to be scripture. We'll say, hey, man, be smart about it, man. Don't don't act on emotions. Be smart about it. You ain't got to you ain't got to entertain that bullshit. I do it all the time. I still associate with fucking idiots, to be honest with you. But, you know, I, I just play it how I want to play it, because I understand that that moment is just one moment. And my life outside of this moment is doing really freaking well. And I'm not going to let this person or this moment ruin this beautiful shit that I got going for me. I'm going to just kill it right there. Man, Lil TJ, just, you know what I'm saying, sending you positive vibes, man. Just putting this energy out there, making this video for you and just to have a word about the whole thing, man. Y'all stay blessed, y'all stay loved, and y'all continue to ride that good wave because, be honest with you, it's nothing like it. I'm not even going to lie. If you get that spark, ride that spark, fly with that spark because it's motherfucking worth it. It's euphoria.